Tip number one is to bring all the tools you're going to need. All we got here is my old lawnmower. I bought this uh, 14 years ago, brand new. And ever since I've lived here, it's been sitting outdoors. This is one of these free range type lawnmowers. Doesn't like to be penned up, it likes freedom. So the first thing you need to do, uh, this is tip number two, I guess, is to pull this thing off here. And that's your uh, spark plug right there. And this is the wire that makes it uh, work. So when you unplug that guy right there, away from that, it will not start, which is pretty important. And it's easy to do, so it gets a thumbs up from me. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust my handles back here. Now, uh, this thing is a little bit, a little bit hard. I'm gonna actually set you guys down and get my hands, both hands involved in this. I need to pull the handle up like this, you see? Okay, and then I've got this piece of two by material and stick that in there because this thing doesn't have a position down there that holds it so I need this to jam it and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm gonna lift the mower up like so and I don't want it to completely fall back right so that brings me to tip number three you always want to position your mower so that the cylinder head pointing up. That way the oil doesn't drain into the cylinder when you're doing this here. Now I might have to set you guys down again while I set up my professional mechanics tool on here which is just a pair of vice grips. People don't like vice grips. They say they destroy the the bolt and whatnot. Well yeah they can but then they're kind of a one-size-fits-all type deal, which I approve of. And uh, if you clamp it on tight enough and strike it smartly enough, it's not going to, it's not going to, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see. I don't even know if you guys can see. See, we got the vice grips. I'm going to try to position you back a little bit further so you can maybe see better. Like so. And then uh, you, you do that and it tears up the nuts a lot. And I don't even know if I'm going the right way with this. I think I am. So going the other way, should. Uh, yeah, you want to really clamp that on there tight. And that way it shouldn't slip. Okay, you probably missed some of that because I didn't notice that you fell down. But I think I have it. I'm getting there. It's turning anyway. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's coming off. But see this is the important thing about unplugging the spark plug right here, you see? If you don't do that, it could potentially start while you're turning this thing around. Alright, I guess this is tip number four. And let's come back to the shop and get the right size wrench. I also brought a little uh, stand to put you guys on so you'll be able to see what I'm doing better. All right, so vice grips again, except this time I'm going to have to put them on the shaft or, yeah, I guess on the shaft to keep the damn thing from turning. <sighs> see, I thought that was something solid, but it's just gunk. That'd be tip number five. Clean this gunk out while it's upside down like this. Take full advantage of the situation, you know? Okay, I need something to jam that. And uh, maybe this can be tip number six. If I get, still have the count right, use your rubber mallet maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that works. See, see that? I'll get you in closer. So you can actually see it. See that? That's really good. That's really smart. You can tell your friends about that. Uh, uh. Look at
look at that. Look how long that is. And look how fine the thread is. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so here's the blade. It's not that bad, actually. You know, it's a little beat up on the edge. But we're going to we're gonna fix that up right away. All right, you see the blade? It's got a bevel. Okay, the bevel's up. And then it's supposed to be the flat side down. Except the flat side on this is pretty rounded. And the other side's not as bad, but you can see... Like, it's not even close to sharp. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot up on that, hold my grinder with one hand, and start sharpening. Now, I'm only going to do so much on that side first and then I'm going to flip it around and do the other side because it's making it too hot and you really want to maintain that bevel just don't grind up at the tip here to get it done quick you want to try to evenly grind it right across okay I think I've ground enough on the top you know you can see the bevel looks pretty good I'm just going to hit it again on the bottom Okay, that looks really good. What you're looking for here is sharp. I mean, it doesn't have to be scalpel. You're not going to be doing any fine carving. It needs to cut the grass, that's all. And then the first time, you know, if you spend an hour doing this, the first time you're out with it, you're going to hit a rock, and it's going to ruin it. All right, let's bring it back out to the machine and get it put back on. Okay, but think first, I think we're going to get a tool to clean all that crap out of there. All right, what I got in the shed is one of these chainsaw tools, and that'll do the trick. And I also found this uh, lithium grease, so I'm going to uh, fire in there and spray on the nut. And uh, that'll at least give it a little bit of lubrication, you know, so that it won't stick as much. I don't know if it'll stick as much, but it can't hurt. Now, see, look at the, look at this. This is weight that you're pushing around, extra weight. So this is tip number seven, maybe. I guess maybe the lithium grease was tip number seven. So this might be tip number eight. Okay, get rid of this extra weight that you're pulling around. I mean, this is enough exercise as it is without all this extra cargo, you know? So, yeah, this is, uh, this is probably from last year as well. I've only mowed the grass out here three times since this year began. So, I don't know why I got the welding glove. Maybe I wanted to wear it instead of sticking my hand in this stuff. I don't know. None of this can kill you. This isn't toxic waste. Right? And the little trap door here. This mower used to have a bag attachment. I used that one time and quickly got rid of that. So that would be chip number, number eight, number nine. Okay, don't use a bag. Put the grass out on the grass. And then you know what happens to it? It disappears. It, it actually uh, fertilizes the grass that's growing. Which is a good thing. You don't have to get rid of it. You know, same as this. I'm not actually going to rake this up and go. I'm just going to throw it around like so. And then that'll get, you know, mixed in. All right, time to put the blade back on. I wasn't overly anal about the mess that's under here because you know what? It's just going to come back. I got the majority of it out of there, which is good enough. The blade on and uh, it goes on there, and then you slide your your bolt in, and then you get your thing lined up like so. And see how nicely it turns in now with that little bit of grease in there. 
and I'm ready for the next time that I want to do this, which may be never. I mean, lawnmowers only last a certain amount of time, you know, unless you're really diligent at taking care of them. Like, I don't take care of this. Like I said, it's been outdoors, and, uh, you know, I've never changed the oil in it, and the air filter is just a... Uh, a piece of this stuff right here <laughs> like uh, there's not even a proper air filter in it that'll tell you how much abuse these things can take and still keep going now tipped up like this I talked about the cylinder head being up and that way the cylinders up and the oil won't drain back into the cylinder and then when you start it up you get all this blue smoke or it won't start at all and you think you've ruined it well that's only goes to these four stroke jobs here you can, I don't know if you can still get them, but uh, you definitely could at one time. The, uh, what are they called? I can't remember. Lomboy, that's it. Lomboy made two stroke mowers, and they were, uh, well, you wouldn't have to worry about that because it doesn't have oil in the crankcase to come up in the cylinder. It has oil mixed in with the gas, but then you've got to mix gas all the time, which is another pain in the ass. Anyway, so I'm going to get this put on, I'm going to button it up, and then I'm going to take it for a short run and see how it works. I think what I'll do, because I already mowed the grass, is I'll just run over that stuff right there. can't just make stuff like that up. We destroy demons. If we were to use your list, we wouldn't be destroying demons. We'd be killing people. And we can never do that. And destroying demons is a good thing. Killing people is bad. You understand? I'm sorry, Dad. That's all right. <laughs> 